questions. All right, so everybody, good afternoon. Uh, I say good afternoon with a full heart. I hope everybody's having a good afternoon. So I welcome all students, teachers, uh, educators, and artists here. Uh, for those who don't know about us, uh, we are the Performing Arts Department of the Heritage Experiential Learning School. The school itself is committed to an experiential uh, project-based pedagogy and integrated curriculum. And since its inception has established a, a formidable reputation for itself as a progressive and innovative school in the time that it has been operational. Uh, as most of you are aware, we have started off our annual Art Fest from today, uh, which is our annual celebration of the arts, which spans over the course of a week and is conducted to give a rich and uh, a unique experience to students for an overall growth in the uh, visual and performing arts. And during this time, we, the performing arts department, we, we partner with the visual arts department and we hold a variety of events such as art expositions where the students get to showcase their different works of art that they have worked on over the year. Uh, we hold workshops for different disciplines like the one we are in right now, uh, with seminars, concerts, and we even have our own interest school performing arts competition. To which I might add, the participation this year for the competitions from the student community have been absolutely phenomenal. So thank you to the student community for that. This is the 16th year of the annual Art Fest celebrations and the event continues to grow in scale and in scope with every passing year. There have been a few hiccups along the way, uh, most prominently due to this ongoing pandemic. Uh, to that, I implore all of you to stay healthy and to keep safe. Due to this, we have shifted the Art Fest to an online platform. And uh, this too, with wholehearted support and love from the school and the various authorities as well. This is our second workshop of the day. And with that, I introduce you to our speaker for this particular workshop, uh, Ms. Uh, Juliana Naposa. Um, I will probably be butchering a couple of foreign names right now. So Madam Naposa, if you'll bear with me and the students, I hope you'll forgive me for this as well. Uh, she is an accomplished musician who has dipped her feet in a variety of art forms, uh, ballet, folk dance, violin, and even as a singer. She began her musical studies at a very young age and considers her musical niche to be in the genre or uh, dare I say the style of folk music. Her folk mu first folk music experience is related to a folk dance tour in France in 2007, where she really enjoyed live folk music and the joy of that sort of uh, took her on this path where she enrolled in folk violin at the uh, Adam Horvat Palozzi Music School in Zalagersik under Karoy Horvat. From there, we fast forward to 2010, where she graduated successfully from the French department of uh, Mincenti Yosef High School, from where it was uh, a straight path to the Pasmani Peter Catholic University, uh, studying under the French department, where after three years, she obtained her bachelor's degree, and then a year later, graduated from the uh, Maholi Naji University of Arts. After her university years in Budapest, she had the opportunity to study for a master's degree in Ljubljana for two semesters, during which time she took, the, she took the time to study the French language as well. And then in 2015, she won a scholarship from the French Institute's campus in France, thanks to which she was able to study for a year in Paris at the Sorbonne University's Master of Arts in Cultural Mediation, after which in 2016, she passed the state exam. In more recent years, she has gained internships at several foreign institutes, such as the European Parliament in Brussels, the Hungarian Institute in Paris, and the Hungarian Embassy in Ljubljana as well. As a musician and as a mediator, she considers it very important to convey not only the love of music, but also the culture and tradition of the music as a whole. So with all that said, and without taking much more time, I present to you our speaker for today, Ms. Laposa, the time is all yours. Thank you so much for your presentation and uh, hey everyone, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to uh, ask uh, how many people are in the uh, right, uh, how many people are we are, can you write it to me on the chat uh, that you are here or not because I, I can't see very well the number of the uh, people's participants. Uh, as of now there are 38. In total. Eight? 38, 38 in total. 38. Okay, thank you so much. And the uh, children's too? 
Yes. Uh, about 30 plus children, yes. Okay, thank you so much. So hello, everybody. Um, let me present in just some words. Thank you so much for your presentation, um, colleagues. Uh, but uh, just in few words, I am a musician, folk musician, collector, folk music collector. Uh, now I am living in Budapest in Hungary and uh, I teach... Uh, uh, I performing for 40 years and uh, I'm teaching for 10 years uh, and edited four creative folk music books for children. Uh, it means the name of the Nipi Hong Sinek. Uh, in 2019, uh, I was in India uh, when it was a happy Diwali, the festival, uh, not the festival, but your celebration, the, uh, the happy uh, Diwali. Uh, I was in India with my folk music band and we have a concert in the India International Center and uh, we were invited by the Hungarian uh, Culture Institution by Bodok Sabo Pal. And thank you so much in this way, uh, uh, his invitation for this uh, presentation. Uh, it was a very exciting memory in my life to be in India and I hope in the future I can go again and uh, we can sing together personally too. But today I don't want to talk more about myself. Uh, let's turn to our topic. Our topic today is the life and contribution of uh, Zoltan Kodai. Uh, he was the Hungarian composer, ethnomusicologist, pedagogue, linguist, and philosopher. He has a very colorful life. Uh, you see uh, in the monitor. Do, do you see in the monitor? Do you see in the screen? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very clear. Yes. Okay. Very Thank clear. you. <laughs> uh, I would like to ask uh, now uh, um, that um, I would like to do a very creative uh, lesson and please uh, give a pen in your uh, hand and, uh, and a paper because I would like you to ask to take notes during my presentation, okay? Because at the end of my presentation, I would like to uh, play a little bit with you, okay? Yeah, they can all hear you. Take a note. Okay, just now I will start uh, my presentation about Kodai's life and Kodai's contribution. So, uh, in the first half of lesson, so you will uh, hear a little presentation. Um, now I want you to highlight the most outstanding uh, moments of his life. And uh, I'm going to give you uh, now a few seconds to check this little video, um, which summarizes his pioneering work. I sent you a little uh, link on the chat. The first uh, links, please open now. Okay, thank you so much. So that was a little presentation about uh, Kodai Zoltan's life. And, um, and I hope you enjoyed this little, little video because I think it was a, a little bit uh, very comprehensive for children. And now I would like to talk about his life. Please take a note, okay? And, uh, and uh, I will explain you some uh, very significant moments of his life. So he born in Kecskemét and grew up in Hungarian countryside. Uh, he learned to play the piano, violin, viola and cello. Growing up, he also sang in uh, his church choir in Golanta, and uh, during this period, he began composing music. Uh, his parents also can play the music uh, you saw in this uh, little video. Uh, he left home in 90 to attend Budapest University and to begin his studies at the Academy of Music Compositional uh, Studies and the Liszt Ferenc Music Academy uh, Teaching Studies. Beside music studies, he studied German and Hungarian uh, linguistics too. Uh, and uh, uh, Koda in 95, 95, uh, Koda, uh, it was a very, very, uh, important um, year of his life uh, because he met, I show you, ah, and uh, do you see in this little map I show you here, Th this is Hungary, uh, I 
seeing it with these blue colors. Uh, this is our little country here. This is Europe. And this little blue country is our country, Hungary. So now I talk about uh, Hungary and uh, our folk music culture. So what happened in 1905? Kodai uh, met his first wife, Emma uh, Schlesinger, met Bartók Béla, Bartók Béla. Uh, Kodai was a contemporary of Bartók Béla, became close friends, recognized as two of the great folk music collector of the 20th century and well known for his use of Hungarian folk melodies in his compositions. They were responsible for reviving a receding musical tradition in their native Hungary as they traveled the countryside as far as Romania, Slovakia. The two became lifelong friends and champions of each other's music. So Bartok Béla was one of his best friends, and Bartok Béla also very, very um, uh, well-known people in all over the world. <clears throat> and the third most uh, very, ex, uh, very and the third thing which was very ex, uh, very important in this year that uh, Kodai. Uh, had first expedition to collect folk songs in Galanta. So in 95, it was a very, very important year of his life. Don't, uh, uh, please re remember of this uh, uh, year because I will ask something uh, at the end of my presentation. Uh, in uh, 97, you see that uh, he, he, he was the composition teacher at the Music Academy in Budapest. And 1920, 1920 was also a very important year if, of his life because uh, it was his first composer evening in Budapest and he married to Emma Schleisinger. Uh, during 10 and uh, during 1920, 19, during 1910 and uh, 1919, it was the most exciting area in the field of folk music collecting. What happened after that? During uh, uh, the 1920s and uh, until his death. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, in 1925, he decided to start deal with the education of the nation, education of the culture and music education. The first performance of choral works for children was Hari Janos, and he wrote it in 1926. Uh, in 1930, uh, in this period, uh, he started to develop a program for music education. He decided to start deal with the education of the music. Uh, and uh, that is why the educational process started in this year by renewing the choral movement. After this music education program and the method were later incorporated into public education and proved to be very effective, hundreds of thousands of children singing and playing music in the country. But after that, I will tell you some stories about this mission. Um, in 1937, it was always, uh, it was a very important date in the life of the Hungarian folk music uh, history because Kodai was the first person who wrote a book about uh, Hungarian, the, about the history of Hungarian folk music. And uh, he published it in 1937. This book was published in numerous uh, foreign languages too after that. In 1942, he went to retire, but he was very active and he worked a lot um, he was the president of the Hungarian Artistic Committee, as you see in the um, screen, and uh, he dealt with, uh, he, he continued his, uh, his education program with Adam Jenő, who was one of his best colleagues too, and with Adam Jenő, they, uh, they, built, they built together in this education program. And uh, in the 90s, 
59, Kodai married again with Sharolta Pézeli because his first wife died in 1958. And one year after, after one year, Kodai married uh, with uh, Kodai married Sharolta Pézeli. And until his uh, death, 1967, uh, they lived together. Kodai uh, died uh, when he was uh, 84 years old. So 84 years old. So he was a very, very, um, he had a very colorful life. And uh, I don't want to talk more about his life, just it was a very significant event in his life. And uh, now I would like to uh, uh, give you some questions, okay? I would uh, uh, please, uh, uh, please uh, answer for my questions now. And uh, I will have five questions for you, okay? Are you here? Uh, yes, they are all there. Uh, they can answer in the chat. Yes, yes, in the chat, in the chat. But firstly, I would like to ask everybody, don't uh, write uh, this answer on the chat. Just, uh, but yes, you can, you, can, you can write it down on the chat, okay? It's no problem if uh, you see um, your answers. So my first question is, how many instruments he played? I am waiting the answers. I check. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad, good. Okay, it's perfect. The answer of Vivian. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of answers. So the right answer is four. So it was very good. So yes, yes, it's four. And the thing too that, okay, it's five. It's very good because viola, cello, piano, sing. We can we can uh, say sing because he can sing too. And the singing is uh, uh, and violin. So piano, violin, viola, cello, and he can singing too. So five, we can say four instruments plus his voice. So five instruments he can play in five instruments. Perfect, you are right. My second question is, which year was his first folk music trip? In which year was his first folk music trip in Hungary? I am waiting the answers. <laughs> 19. <laughs> okay, uh, I give you five seconds more. One, two, three, four, five. The right answer is 19.5, okay, 19.5. It was a very, very important uh, year of his life because this was the folk, first folk music trips uh, in Galanta, okay, in Galanta. Galanta now is situated in Felvidék in Slovakia. It's another country now, it's, it's not uh, the part of the Hungary. But at the age of Kodai, it was a part of the Hungary. Okay, my third question. Okay, my third question will. What was the name of his best colleagues? What was the name of his best colleagues? With these colleagues, he, he, he went to collect folk music. Yes, Bartok Béla. I wrote now on the chat the, uh, correctly the name of Bartok Béla. Bartok Béla, perfect. Yes, yes. 
So have you ever uh, heard um, about Bartok Béla II? Mm -hmm. You can, if you, um, if you now write the name of Bartok Béla on the Google, you can find more, a lot of information about his life too. So Bartok Béla and Kodály Zoltán were um, the very, very uh, significant person of the Hungarian culture. And now too, because we, we love his works and we continue, we try to continue his Ida ideologies. Okay, my first question is, my first question is, you are very, very uh, happy. I am very happy. When did uh, he start developing a program for music education? So when did he start developing a program for music education? What was the year? Yes, not bad. Yes, yes, perfect. 1930. So about, we can't, I can't say now a correctly, a very correctly year, but almost 1930s. This was the year when he started to, to, to deal with this, to deal with, with this topic. It was very important for him to educate people, educate uh, not just to singing, not just to uh, play the music. It was very important for him to educate whole people. Okay, and the five, my five question is, I will, I will ask this question after, 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 um, after something, because now I would like to tell you um, information about the methodology and this question, what I wrote down, uh, I will ask it later. So, okay. so we will continue to we will continue this game after that this uh, presentation. Sorry. So now I would like to continue um, the, my presentation with the Kodai method. Okay. So please notice, take notes, and uh, we will continue this kind of game. I am very happy that you are very active. So thank you so much. So what is the Kodai method? What does it mean? Read the music. Read the music, yes. But the Hungarian music education program that developed, developed in the 40s became the basis for Kodai method. Although Kodai himself didn't write down a comprehensive method, he established a set of principles to follow in music education. This principle was widely taken up by pedagogues above all in Hungary and in many countries after the Second World War. So he didn't write down a book about Kodai methodology. Okay, it's very important to, to understand. He didn't write one book about I am Kodai Zoltan and write I write down a methodology. No, it was a methodology, but his life was the Kodai methodology and his work was the Kodai methodology, method, the Kodai method. It was a music pedagogical concept that educates people from kindergarten to the Academy of Music to preserve and further develop their musical skills. Okay, it was the very, it was a very important uh, concept. Kodai system musical education concept can be outlined in three points. Uh, on the screen, uh, you see now these uh, three points. I uh, write, I wrote it down, and now I will um, tell you uh, what does it mean. What does uh, what what can we do with this concept? First, providing primary music education to all children in elementary school, kindergarten in elementary school, and then in high school. Conditions for this. Singing focus, it's very important to sing is focus. According to Kodai, because young children's uh, natural mean of musical expression is the voice 
okay? Our voice is very important. This is an instrument in our body. Everybody has voice. And it's a very, very miracle thing uh, in our life that we can sing. Uh, through their singing games too, uh, singing a tune to improvise and to side sing music. This method using rhythm. rhythm. What is the rhythm? Yes, this is the riff. So I hope uh, we can play together at the end of the presentation. But now I would like to now just um, show you that is the riff, okay? And we can sing with this riff. It's it's a very important thing. Uh, walking, marching, clapping to help children uh, internalize the beat structures of music. Rhythm syllabs, rhythm syllabs are used to help children understand the notes that they are learning. Okay, so it's, it's very important uh, to rhythm and read the music together, but we will practice together at the end of the lesson. Teach music mother tongue music. What does it mean that mother musical mother tongue? It is folk music, okay? It's very important to every nation that can uh, sing in, uh, in folk music in, in his language. Kodai approach to music teaching is based on the mother tongue language, their folk music. This forms the starting point for musical learning, which eventually leads to an understanding of an appreciation for music of all styles and cultures. Okay, the folk music is a very important uh, thing in our life. And no, a solmization system. Solmization system. Yes, solmization system. We will practice a little bit the solmizations. What does it mean? Solmizations, the ability to read and understand notification, notation of music is central to Coder's goal of making children. Uh, musically independent. His approach to teaching children to read music draws. Hmm. One of the cornerstones of the solmization system is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And Kodai used the hand scene stomization. But it's very important to mention now that it wasn't Kodai who invented this kind of uh, stomization. It was uh, invented in the Middle Age by Guido Arezzoi. Uh, and Kodai only renovated and moderni modernized this hand scene uh, stomization system, okay? So it's very important to mention now. But we will practice it together as soon. This summarization, okay? Perfect. <laughs> After that, we will play a little bit. The second, let's let's turn to our, the second topic, the methodology, the Kodai method. Personality development. For him, it was very important to educate everybody. It's very important. Now I check my chat because I see, please repeat the name, Guido. Yes, yes, I write it down, okay? I write it down on the chat, Guido Arezzoi, okay? So he was the first person. No, 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 just the hand scene. He deal with something with hand scene solmization. But not do re mi fa sol la ti do, okay? But Kodai was who uh, modern, modernized his uh, his um, these scenes, okay? Do re mi fa sol la ti do. It is Kodai, okay? Who invented? Okay, I continue. So personality development, music instruction must be a part of general education for everyone. Music, music is a prime necessity of life. It was a very important thing to Kodai to educate 
people for music, for art, for mathematics, for for everything. He, he wanted to uh, develop the mind of people uh, with music. Okay. Uh, he always wanted to to say that learn everything. Learn. It's very important. All skills. All 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 um, subjects. All all uh, all um, met, all lessons. But with music, you can develop a lot of things in in your mind, in your brain, and that is why uh, he was very very uh, genius because because um, he start he he wanted to help. Uh, for us with this method. And the third is the, is the professional training. What does it mean, professional training? Creating the conditions for public education. Music education should began, begin nine months before the birth of the child. So the music education start in the, in the mothers when the baby can born when the baby born and after before before this uh, beautiful uh, event and then um, after that we always have to singing 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 uh, and only music of the highest quality is good enough for children so for him it was very important to uh, educate teach singing teachers okay because with singing teachers we can um, create a, a, a good life a good program a good education system it was very important for him too so the system is based on relative solmization which is suitable for getting to know the music of hungarian and other peoples and great workers, universal music history. So it means that with do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, we can sing, we can learn everything what we want. And it, it is a very, very um, big uh, invention from him. So what was the result of his educational work? So brought a large amount of material and teaching methods and composing plenty of music intended for children's use. I uh, mentioned that he didn't, uh, didn't write a book about Kodai method, okay? He wrote 21 backlits, books, and, uh, his, uh, uh, and his students after he, his death and uh, during his life, uh, using his uh, programs, using his method and the uh, Kodai uh, method uh, uh, is uh, both born about uh, 80s, 1980s, 1919, Hungary too, because we in Hungarians, it was very natural to learn this uh, system. And it was a very, very great uh, help for um, our um, development too. So throughout his adult life, Kodai was very interested in the problems of many type of music education. He wrote a large amount of material on teaching methods and composing plenty of music. From 1935, with his colleague Adam Yenu, he embarked on a long-term project to reform music teaching in Hungary's lower and middle schools, okay? In 1950s, music primary school were established. These are elementary schools where music is taught every day on an equal footing in mathematics or languages or chemics, etc., etc. By the 60s and 70s, about 160 singing music had been established. It's enormous. Several chords had been formed and the more educated, music-loving and music-loving generation had grown up one after the other, 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 other. So nowadays, 
what's happening nowadays in Hungary? There are music academy too. Uh, we sing a lot and uh, we try to um, continue his pedagogic work. And uh, now, nowadays, there are some groups and institutions which deal with his collected folk music heritage, like the Institute, Institute, Institute for Musicology, uh, Kodai Institute, and the International Kodai Society, which also disseminate the concept internationally, providing academic programs where more than 60 countries have participated. So nowadays, there are a lot of countries in all over the world who use these um, programs, who use Kodai's education program. And it's fantastic. And we are very proud of him and very, very proud of, of his works. And we want to continue uh, this work in every day, every day, every day. So now I have one question for you. OK, let's go to play again. I will um, uh, wait the answers on the chat, okay? So my question is, uh, okay. My question is, how many books he edited during his life? How many books he edited during his life? Yes, 21, perfect. Yes, 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 21. And uh, now uh, I finish this quiz and I would like to practice you, okay? I would like to, do you like singing? Okay, for today, I would like to uh, teach you something, two Hungarian folk songs. Too. It will be very easy, and I would like to present you my one of my best friend because uh, I don't talk about my instrument. Uh, what do you sing? What is my instrument? Can you can you write it down on the chat? Yes, violin. Okay. Yes, yes, violin. So, this is a very old type of violin. And uh, I will play with my violin. I will play my violin. But before, I send you a link. Because now I would like to talk about the Kodai method in practice, the rhythm syllables. And uh, I will now send you a little uh, link. Link. That please open this link and uh, look at this short video. Okay, it will be just uh, uh, 27 seconds so not a, not a long video and we will um, practice together this rhythm okay i sent you okay in this example i've already written the ta's and the tt's and the kodai names um, i just want to show you how this works you'll see a blue dot appear every time there's a pulse and so if my pulse is one two three four this is ta 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 T T T T T T T T Tiri Tiri Ta Tiri Tiri T Ta 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 Is that it or do you want me to replay again? Ma'am? Okay. Sounds okay. good. Good sound. Yeah, Very good sound. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I see. Thank you. And uh, do you see my screen now? Uh, no, ma'am. Because something happened. Uh, you need to go and reshare. Share screen again. 
sorry, I am not a special specialist of Zoom. Um, something happened, uh, and I don't know what happened because now I don't see my Zoom. Is there my a screen button down there? Because you set in something and. Uh, uh, there should be a share screen right. at the bottom of your screen. It'll be a highlighted green color. Green color. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now it's okay. 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 Yes, done. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So why I wanted to look at this video because Kodai was the person who invented ta ti ti ta this rhythm syllab. Okay. Do you know this rhythm syllab? Have you ever heard about it? I'm waiting the answers on the chat. Yes, of course. Student? Once. Mm -hmm. So, If uh, it will be now a very, very long uh, lesson if I start to uh, talk about, talk about uh, this uh, rip because I would like to sing with you and I would like to learn a song, a folk song. But this rip uh, is very important and now <laughs> I would like to practice it with you. If you see on my if you see my script on my script, do you have do you see the ta? Okay, this is the ta. Can you clap your hands at home? Or can you it will be for me very uh, easy, it will be easier to, to see you on this screen. Can you uh, switch on your camera, please? Student. Thank you, thank you so much. So, I would like to practice a you with this rhythm, okay? Uh, I see now Nitin, uh, Vivan, Kumar, Mida, Verma, okay? And uh, can you um, do what I, what I, please, um, please do? what i what i what i do so repeat my my hand scene okay i do this that i clap my hands perfect just one time perfect and now i will do it perfect so i say if i do once i say ta okay repeat together ta Perfect. And if I do this, I say titi. Okay? Titi. Perfect. So, ta titi. Ta titi. Ta titi. Ta titi. Ta titi. Ta titi. Perfect. It's very good for me because now I, I see your faces. So I am very happy. <laughs> it's easier to teach you. So this was a really, really um, Kodai method, this kind of rhythm syllabs uh, system. And uh, we can do ta tiri 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 this kind of rhythm. Okay, but now I would like to you just uh, practice with you ta and titi, okay? Ta. Titi, ta, titi, ta, titi. Perfect. Because I will uh, teach you a song, and this will be the rhythm of this these uh, songs. Okay, that's why now I would like to. But Kodai has a uh, Kodai invented another um, 
uh, very important things, uh, which I mentioned, the Hansen summization. Do you know this summization system or have you ever heard about this summization system? Please write it down on the chat. Yes or no? Yes, yeah, yeah, Doremi, perfect, yeah. But not the hand scenes, okay. We can't, no. Okay, it's no problem because we now we will learn with this hand scene. It will be very, very exciting, I think, and you will love it. Yes, yes, I, I see you in Ayamida. <laughs> <laughs> it's great what you what you do. Okay, so what is the hand scene summarization? If you look at, have a look at uh, on my um, screen, uh, you will see these hand positions. Okay, and now we will um, try to uh, find the position of this um, hand scene. Okay, just just. Practice now the the position of this hand thing. This is the this this is this will be the name of the first the do. This is the do. Okay. I don't see the boys. Where are you? I can't see. Okay, now. Okay, you are here. Perfect. <laughs> so this is the do. This is the name the do. Okay. The second position will be the this position, and this is the name re. Okay, so we have do, re, and the third position it is me. Okay, so me, re, do. Perfect. It's a game. <laughs> it's very good. So, do, re, mi. What will be the, the fourth one? Fa. Almost a dislike, but not dislike, okay? It's not a dislike. <laughs> it will be just like this. Fa. Okay. And what will be the fifth? So, you will see it on my, you will see your hand. Okay? Like this. Okay, so practice it. The first, do, re, mi, fa, sol. In Hungary we say so, but in English sol. I think, but I now I, I speak in Hungarian. So, so, okay. So, la, la. Yes, and again, do. So this is the uh, octave, okay? So now practice it from eight to zero. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do perfect i see you are very very perfect student and now i know that this is a lot at now i'm not oh what's happening i know that it's uh, it can be a little bit difficult uh, but i would like to practice this kind of hand summarization in in a with a very very easy song okay and we will just use um, three hand sing okay do re and me okay so now look at just a look this will be our uh, song our first song today and i will uh, sing it now Okay, just shush band up, finish up, get back all up. It's about the sun, 
it's about the sunshine and because it is uh, outside uh, it is um, it, it is called uh, the weather it's not good in outside and uh, we want we ask the the sunshine shining and uh, now please just um, i would like to practice you the rhythm syllabs okay do you remember the rhythm what we what we learned in 10 minutes ago it was ta and ti ti okay just please clap your hands and now we don't sing we don't sing just we look uh, look on the screen okay you see that ta 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 soon okay soon it's pause pause okay it means ta 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 pause ta 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 pause and ti 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 ta 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 pose okay let's try it again and after that we will deal with the melodies okay just it's now very very important to to use this rhythm to you to understand this this two rhythm okay so we have a ta and we have titi and we have pose soon pose okay okay are you okay <laughs> okay let's start it again one where is your hands i would like to see your hands perfect okay so one two three ta 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 pose ta 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 pose ti 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 ta 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 pose perfect so what can we do now if we would like to play this game with hand synchronization hmm do you know this um, abc note Can you write it on the chat, please? Yes, of course. So you see on the screen that the first uh, voice is on, this is the C, okay? C, perfect, C, D, F, K, yes, yes, this is, this is C major, this is the C. And now, uh, as usually, the C is always, or something like that, now in this easy period, this is the C is the DO, okay? We try this game if the C is the DO, okay? So C is the DO, it means that this is the DO, okay? I will show you first, okay? And after that you will, you will, uh, we will practice together. Just look at me. DO, RE, DO, do re do 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 re do okay it's easy is, is it easy hmm perfect What's happening if we sing with this hand synchronization? Just la la la, okay? You don't have to now uh, <laughs> try to speak in Hungarian. Just what, what, what can we say if we uh, sing with la la la? Just look, uh, uh, I will, firstly, I will sing and I will show you what, what can you do after that. La la la. La 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 Okay, it is comp is it complicated for you? What's 
happening? No, no, no. Okay, so please just uh, sing together. Try to sing together with La La La, okay? Now just I would like to sing with you La La La, the melody. Teach, learn the melody, okay? One, two, three. La 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 Don't disturb that now I start the melody with E, okay? Not C, with E, okay? But I can now start the melody and C. It's a little bit too low. Uh, that's why I start um, higher. No, but now, please practice with this hand synchronization. I would like to see everybody's hand at the end. Okay. Okay. Hello, boys. I see you. With la 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 and with hand synchronization. Okay. And we now we start with the melody on E. Okay. Don't disturb now. We start with E. Okay. Ready? Steady. Go. La la la. La la la. Pause. La 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 la. Wow, perfect. So do you like this um, kind of uh, method? How do you yes, like? Please write your uh, uh, feelings on the chat. Is it interesting for you? Yes, I am very happy. I hope I can show you some new things. And I have another song for today. And I would like to sing and play the violin for you a little bit. I would like to give you a little concert. Okay, for, from uh, my uh, best part, for the best part, of, for, for me, the best part of the Hungary, because I, I came from, I came from the west part of the Hungary, and, uh, and uh, that is my very, very um, lovely places uh, in the world, and I love my folk songs, and this is a spring it's a this song it's about the spring springtime and uh, every everything is in uh, green has green color and uh, it's a game uh, with uh, with uh, in the nature and girls game uh, together sing together and uh, just let me let me uh, play once uh -huh. Ready, steady, go. Boy, boy, good, 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 in different um, uh, system in my violin but it is written uh, in which kind of um, uh, summarization ABCD system is used with this note it is written in in C okay and what will be the first hand synchronization uh, note of oh la 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 if our first uh, note is G? Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? 
Here is okay. So, what is the first? Um, what are you? What do you think? What is our first solmization uh, notice? The name A B C D G. It is. I, I would like to ask you to the name of this voice, okay, firstly, and after that, we will uh, try to get try to know together. This is a G, okay, then this is a G. Yes, perfect. This is the G and just please uh, look at the at the end of the last voices. What's this? It is a G or A or what is this? It is a C perfect. So if I say you now that the C is the DO, okay, the C is the DO, the what is the G? Please calculate it. Okay. The C is the DO. What is the G? Yes, it is the fifth note. Perfect. This is the SOL. Yes, yes. Very nice. We not signy. Perfect. And Kaushik Das. Das. I hope <laughs> your name is very, very interesting. So perfect. Perfect. So this is the so. And do you remember what was the position of the Hansing so? Summization of the so. What was it? Just please show me. Hmm? Perfect, Nitin Vi. This was the so. Yes, perfect. So just have a look. What was the solmization system? Just repeat it again, okay? Because this melody has a lot of um, notes. This was the do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay, and now we will start with the we will start the song with so. Okay, don't. And now I will show you the melody. Okay, and we will try to solmize it together. I know it can be a little bit hard now, but just try it and you will enjoy it. Trust me. So we will start with so. Okay ready i will be a little bit slow i will show you slowly okay ready steady and go together okay so la so mi so so la so mi so 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 la so fa mi re mi re mi re do do so la so mi so la so so la so repeat so la so mi so la so so la so 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 la so mi so 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 la so mi mi re do wow do you enjoy it yes of course i see your face so you do you like it perfect now 
Please, it was a, a little bit difficult. Okay, it was a bit difficult because we uh, didn't start with this, um, we learned this talk with rhythm. Now I would like to clap your hands, okay, because we will now practice the rhythm syllabs, okay, with ta and titi, because in this melody you see ta and titi, okay, this, this was the, this is the ta and titi, okay. Just say together, ta and titi. Look, look this, look on the screen, okay? And ready, steady, go. We start together, okay? Ready, steady, go. Ta, 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 titi, ta, ta, titi, 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 ta, ta. Ta 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 ti ti ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta ta ti 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 ta 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 pose. Perfect. Now we will sing together, okay? With rhythm syllabs, okay? With ta ta ti 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 ti, okay? We will sing with e because it is easier for you to sing, but don't disturb you that it is uh, uh, written on the on in another harmony words, okay? Mm, la with la la la, okay? La la la, okay? But before la la la, we will do a solmization with sola so mi, okay? Sola so mi, because now we know this system, okay? So now we will so do the solmization firstly. So. Ready, steady, go. So na so mi so so na so mi so 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 na so fa mi re mi re mi re do do so na so mi so na so so na so so na so mi so na so so na so 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 na so mi so 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 na so mi mi re do Perfect. Now I will sing in Hungarian, okay, and I will play my violin in Hungarian. Please uh, sing you uh, with solmization system, okay, with so la so mi, okay, and I will sing in Hungarian, okay. Don't disturb my uh, voice, my my uh, Hungarian's uh, speeches, okay. Okay, just let. It Okay, uh, this will be our last uh, practice for today. So please uh, uh, do it together and enjoy enjoy this uh, lesson. So, so I would like to see the, your hands. Okay, so okay, and ready, steady, go. We will uh, start together. Ready, steady, go. So. Sit 
picked. It was a little bit difficult, I think, with, uh, with this kind of um, method. <laughs> but thank you so much for your attention. And now I would like to sing you um, my, one of my best uh, children folk song. Okay, and enjoy this, uh, this uh, mini concert for you. Okay. a little mini concert for my best children folk songs and uh, I hope you learn some new things and you can uh, um, use in your musician life in the future I give you my um, uh, email address my website uh, contact uh, if you have some questions please write me and i will write you email i will send you some folk music if you're interested in this topic and um, thank you so much uh, your uh, attention i hope you found this presentation uh, information informational and if you have any question please uh, write me ah there are some thing in on the chat thank you so much and uh, Yeah, so uh, we can take some questions and answers now. If, uh, if the children have any questions. Yes, yes, of course. Now I read on the chat what's happening. <laughs> yes. Uh, Aryan, can you turn on your micro microphone? Let's just want to test your mic. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So you guys can ask questions uh, from him with your mic also, instead of just typing, all right? Okay. Any questions? Is your time now? Uh, so I don't really know if I like it, if it's my place to ask, but 
like if you know a little bit of classical music i it would be really nice if you could maybe play something like a uh, canon and d maybe like i'm just asking sorry can you repeat it uh like i know it it's not really my place to ask but i was wondering if uh, maybe you know classical music western classical music then maybe you can play something like canon in d that would be uh, really nice uh, do you want that i send you some notes uh, i'm just no i'm just asking like if you can like play it play a canon song yeah uh -huh. um ma'am i think he's asking if we can uh, vivan are you talking about pakelbell's canon and the yes. what we're talking about so yeah i believe he's asking for a small performance in for the, it. <laughs> yeah. in the yeah i believe pakelbell's in canon and the yeah, yeah i can but in hungarian <laughs> and i please, guess please. okay yes of course <clears throat> Just a second. Pakatopite Duregat So on, so on, so on, so on. So it is the, it is the very famous canon in Hungary, and we we love these songs too. It's about Paul, Peter, and Kata, three kids. Good morning, three kids, and this about this this. It's about this this lovely song. We are friends, and uh, so on. Okay, uh, I, can you, I can send you this melody if you want, okay? okay if you are okay. interested in this kind of music. All right, Vivan, that was a canon in, uh, from Hungary, actually, right? So something a little different. Um, other questions? Inaya, you have a question? It's not a classical music, so, uh, sorry, I deal with the folk music. I... Okay. I in the past, I, I studied uh, classical music, classical violins music, but uh, for almost 12 years, I deal with just Hungarian folk music. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, Ms. Lapoza, so we are live streaming on Facebook right now. Yes, we are live streaming on Facebook. Yes. Okay, so people on Facebook are also watching this video. Yes. And uh, some of them have some questions and, uh, and requests. There is a Mr. Gopal Raj. He's yes, asking, I do you know any Indian song? And yeah, if yes, if you can play a small piece for us. So Mr. This is a special request from Mr. Gopal Raj. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but uh, I can't sing uh, in Indian <laughs> songs, but oh, are you if you, yeah. I, I try yeah. to learn um, uh, children's Indian song. But uh, the pronunciation was very, very difficult for me. Not the English pronunciation, not pronunciation, but the the Indians' uh, pronunciation. But if you send me uh, a music, I try to play the violin for the next occasion. Okay, I think he heard you. Yeah, he's on Facebook. He can hear you. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have any other questions from our uh, Facebook viewers. Hmm? Yeah, there's a question Hello. from uh, Inaya. Inaya, if you have a question, can you? Uh, yes. Ma'am, I wanted to ask you that uh, do you also sing opera with violin? Operatic style. Sorry? It's a little bit hard to understand. Uh, I think she's asking. If yes. you can play some opera style or opera, uh, some pieces from any famous opera, if you have, if you know any, right? Isn't that in there? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. 
like I, uh, the I think not yet because I am not an opera singer and uh, I can send you uh, opera's melody if you want. But I deal with just the folk music, not the classical music and not the opera's music. So sorry. Uh, and this yeah. is a different kind of music, uh, you know it. Uh, yeah, these are very uh, important uh, things we're discovering right now because children, we, they need to understand that there's so many genres and so many styles, you know, so many methods of music and it's not all the same. So when we say Western classical music, there's so many subcategories. Every country, yes. you know, yes. every century has its own style yes. and one person cannot uh, specialize in everything. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a very, very big part of the music so uh and western part of the world it's a very big part of the world and hungary is a very very little um point of the world so but if you are interested in folk music uh in other countries i can send you links and videos because i almost know some other cultures uh, folk music in europe Yes, you can ask something. Yes, yes. Can you play national anthem for us? <laughs> no, sorry. No. Uh, Hungary national anthem? Start playing on the violin. I was 11. No, I was nine years old and now I am 30. So I played, uh, I have been playing violin for 21 years old, 21 years. Wow, yeah. Okay, for uh, I think we can. If you have got another question, I play you something for finish this uh, lesson, and I hope that you understand a little bit what I wanted to show you on this lesson: the rhythm syllabs, ta titi, just these two uh, rhythm, and do ri mi fa sol ti do da hen sin summation. I will send this presentation for your uh, teacher, okay? And uh, you can uh, try this kind of summarization if you have uh, time and if you have, and if you would like to you, practice. Uh, Ma'am, I believe, Ma'am, I believe there's another question for you. Yes. Radhya is asking uh, why you wanted to study and specialize in music and what was your inspiration? <laughs> Uh, yes, I see it. I wanted to ask mom why she wanted to study Spanish music. What was her inspiration? From my childhood, I loved music. Uh, my parents always uh, tell me today that when I was born, I, I was a very happy and a, a child and children and a child and I girl, <laughs> sorry. And I loved music. And when I was four years old, I started to dance. And when I was six, I started to um, my music education. And uh, my inspiration was that I, I, I always wanted to be on the stage and I always wanted to sing for, for, uh, for you, for the community. And I think that is my mission that uh, sing and uh, uh, with my sing, with my music, I would like to that you will be happy. And uh, I always inspired the Kodai um, work, Kodai's work and Kodai's method, because for us uh, in Hungary, this is a very natural thing that if you would like to deal with the music, uh, you will be the part of the Kodai method, and and with this method you can be, you can um, you can good you can give the people the happiness, and that is my aim, that give you happiness and give you more happy uh, life with my music. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> No, it's a same person kurizálok. I can send you. It's another type of the music. Same person kurizálok. It's not a folk music. It's another uh, category of music, you know, because there are uh, there are um, 
a lot of category in the music. I know this song, I love this song, but it's not the songs for children, okay? It's a little bit of songs for the marriage, songs for the adults. It's a very happy song, yeah. But for um, but now I would like to um, sing and play a very famous Hungarian song. This is the Tavasi Szél Vizet Árast, and um, it is a very famous Hungarian folk song. And I would like to say goodbye with this uh, song, okay? Thank you so much, ma'am. That was beautiful. Uh, ma'am, if you have anything more to add, and I will pass the time to Mr. Along to wrap, wrap up the session. Yes. Yes. OK, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, all right. OK. All right, I hope everyone had a good time. I know we took quite a quite some few hours there, but I believe everybody learned something today. I, hope, I know I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it, okay? And I'm pretty sure I speak for other people here as well. Uh, once again, a very big thank you to our speaker, Ms. Laposa. Thank you so much for taking the time out for your very busy schedule to speak to our students and attendees today. I'm sure we've all learned something new and profound, uh, especially those students here uh, who got a chance to interact with you. Uh, it's certainly food for thought for quite some time. Uh, and thank you for your lovely performance. Um, it's not every day that we hear lovely folk tunes like that. So again, that's also a new experience for, for many of us here. And thank you so much. Uh, we would also like to thank our friends. Um, I would like to thank especially Madam Harleen and others at the Hungarian Cultural Institute in Delhi, oh without whom this workshop wouldn't have been possible and from whom uh, they shared their regards to us as well. Uh, thank you so much to them. By extension, we also would like to thank Mr. Lanu Yadin for helping us connect to the Hungarian Cultural Institute and also for helping us set up and troubleshoot this, uh, this Zoom webinar that we are in currently. Uh, a big thanks as well to the school authorities, uh, Madam Principal, the admin, the admin team and the IT teams, the program leaders uh, and class teachers for helping us organize the students. Uh, there were many students who had actually signed up today, but due to some uh, Conflict, conflicting schedules with class times and stuff like that, many could not join, but there were certainly many students who had signed up initially. So that goes to show something for the amount of interest that was there for this uh, particular workshop. Uh, as always, thank you to the PA team, Mr. Emanuel, Mr. Sai, Mr. Sanjeevan, and those in the PA department help, helping out on the back end and ensuring that we had a 
smooth and trouble-free session. Uh, and finally, and not the least, uh, thank you to all those who have attended today's workshop, uh, teachers and students alike. There really would not have been any workshop without you all. I thank you for your attentiveness and perceptiveness in answering questions and also learning what our speaker had presented. And also to the audience watching this on Facebook right now, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, yeah, with that, we come to the end of our session. Thank you all very much. I wish you all a good day and do take care. Right. I think we're close with that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation and uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, questions. It was very uh, interesting for me to have a nice day and pay attention for yourself. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children. Have a wonderful day. We will be in touch. Where are you, children? Bye-bye. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And bye-bye on Facebook as well. Bye-bye.